I'm a fireball. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. I know I am because you're watching my video. These are the mobs from Massive Darkness 2. They are the fire entities and they are primed in demonic yellow by the army painter. Why? Because I wanted a good base to test out some speed paints on top of this demonic yellow. Because it's very bright, so I assume that with a speed paint, contrast paint, you might actually get the look you want. Now we're starting off with the longest part of these miniatures and to be honest, I kind of did this in a uh, backwards way, okay? So technically, if you want to watch this video and actually do this properly, watch it from end to beginning, <laughs> almost. Because I should have put the speed paint, did the dry brushing, then did the black paint. Now I'm giving myself even more trouble by putting the black paint on on the armor or the charcoal part of these fire entities and this guy is the leader this one right here uh i'll show you afterwards the uh the actually minions um and then at one point at the end when i was done everybody i was like wait a minute i only have five minions and a leader where's my sixth one he fell off the table and i never noticed so i ended up painting that guy off camera and uh, just like I do all the other minions, I usually just paint one on the camera. But anyway, so this one I painted, but I did it the opposite way. I was like, all right, I'm going to put the speed paint on first. I'm going to do my dry brushing. And then I'm going to put the black paint on and the necromancer cloak and all the other stuff I put on here. Because I was like, why in the world did I do that? Now, you're going to see though, the speed paint, even though it dried for like a good 24 hours, it will reactivate with what I'm going to put on top of it. Even the dry brushing, it reactivated a little bit. So that again is still annoying. I should have maybe put that anti-gloss gloss varnish first of all. And yeah, again, when you're painting miniatures, you're always learning. You're always trying to figure out what's the best technique. You know, talk, people talk about glazing. Now I've heard slap chopping, which by the way, uh, coming up real soon, I'm going to be painting one of my whole things on the channel from Conquest, uh, Last Argument of Kings, and I'm going to use this slap chop uh, method. I'm first testing it to see how it comes out, and I have to say, it is pretty amazing. Just the, the look of before painting, the slap chop idea, I actually thought of doing something like this way before someone did say it, so maybe I invented slap chopping, but I never did anything about it. Anyways, we won't get into that too much. We're here to look at fire entities. Uh, as you can see, the, again, the, the black paint is super long to do. Uh, people have been commenting they actually like seeing now the miniatures from top to bottom. You know this is still four speed. It's a little bit faster. Look how long it's taking just to do the black, because you don't want to hit spots that are not the armor right because it's hard to tell on this miniature what is armor what is not uh even if you look at the artwork from the game card it's not super easy to figure it out so do take your time take a look make sure you're following around because actually i found that some of the miniatures the details were a little bit better than the other ones like some of the minions and you could see the armor a bit better or less so like sometimes you'll actually see an extra piece of armor that was in flame but that's sticking out so just keep an eye on that on the different minions i don't know why i thought maybe the molding process would have been the same on these but uh anyways and i'd like to thank you guys again for watching my video so please hit that like button comment down below what you're working on are you working on massive darkness 2 are you working on massive darkness 1 uh any miniatures you want to talk about uh you can also join my discord and share your work with me i want to see what you guys are doing uh, you can also um, uh, help me out by, like, by supporting the channel. Visit Ko-fi, visit Patreon. My links are all in the descriptions. All right, we're moving on now to some Zealot Yellow. This is the speed paint I was talking about. This is perfect for flames, folks, especially on top of this yellow. I'm really happy with how it came out. Now, to speak about the demonic yellow, though, I do have to say I shook that sucker a lot, and I didn't like the goopiness of the paint it was kind of like it wasn't like spraying it was almost like shooting out paint it was weird so be at a good distance uh make sure you get everything properly done uh, and you prime it nicely because yeah i still don't have an airbrush for priming i would love to have an airbrush for priming but i don't have the setup for it don't have the room for it all right 
Next, we're using some pale skin. This is a zombie side invader unique paint. You can use any white you want. I just like this pale skin one. This is what I was saying. The dry brushing before doing the black would have been perfect because now I'm hitting the black. I'm hitting this. I'm hitting that. The point is this is that this is the whitest area. So the hottest of the flame is coming from the center of these entities. So I'm trying to get it around all the charred black armor and making it pop. Now, uh, you may not notice it right away, but as you start putting this, and I watered it down, that's the other problem. I watered down this pale skin just so that I could get a nice consistency to cover it, but not completely cover it. Anyways, as you can see, it, it's not bad, but you can see it's reactivating. You can see the paint underneath on that, the, the Z lot there is coming back out. All right, now we're using some Necromancer Cloak. And what I'm doing is I'm actually like not sort of dry brushing but just like touching the edges of that armor to give it more of a charcoal look plus i do the boots on the miniatures and i hadn't even noticed that the boss leader had uh, a boot on his left foot like showing from the flame so i got that you saw at the beginning there uh and again i'm just touching up the little black here and there giving it a little bit more of a gray look just a dark gray not too bright gray you know i didn't want that so it's to dull down that black a little bit more and give it kind of a used fiery look Next, we're moving on to some plate metal. metal. This is going to be for all the chains that the boss leader or the leader is. Uh, not the boss. I keep going bosses, but the leaders are is holding this big flaming ball and chain. Uh, again, the flames are intertwined in this these chain links, so it's very hard to figure out what goes where. Uh, just take your time with that. And then I'm going to do the swords. Uh, I had done the hilts of the swords with the necromancer cloak, but that one that I did off camera, or the, the one I found off the table, I should say, uh, I ended up doing the hilts with the silver, and it looks a little bit better. You, you're not going to see them in the rotation or in the photo because, like I said, I, I couldn't find them. He fell off the table and rolled underneath somewhere. Uh, so I found them later on after painting and taking all my photos and that. Anyways, there we go. We're putting the final touches here. We did a little bit of light dry earth on the base and a little bit of uh, Griffhound orange to make it look like a lava floor and it's crackling. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.